Welcome back, folks. It is I, your illustrious host, Lord Zedek the Gradius Hardoke, and once again, welcome to Late Night Bastards Gaming here on a Friday night. We bring to you Rune Lord of the Pathfinder Graveyard. It has been, regrettably, a while since we've last played, but. Deal with it. Anyway, we bring to you today uh, Mr. Craptastic. Douglas and Mr. Vic. Kenzie will no longer be joining us for the pleasant, pleasant evening of royal debauchery and killing. Eh, reasons. Anyway. So, last time, if you guys recall, you went to an insanatorium where you met a dwarf who was pleasant, but, uh, and he preferred to keep his business over the health of his people. Huh. Sounds like gonna say. And you guys met with a man who was currently undergoing the effects of ghoul fever. <laughs> and you guys did rather well with that too. Like quite literally, Ganon went, nope. Yeah. All over the walls. All over the walls. So while you were there, he mentioned something about Fox Glove, handed Crap and Ganon a note, which uh, stated something along the lines of, Master, please, Senpai, notice me. <laughs> Pretty much along. To which they did some research around town with uh, their incredible knowledge local skills. Well, most of them. To which they found out that the Foxgloves ran a farmhouse further south from Sandpoint, to which they immediately traveled to at the speed of Ruby. And now they're here. Please roll me perception check. Oh, and story wise, intelligence 10 is average. <coughs> and out of the gate, Vic comes in with a 30. That'll happen. But no, story-wise, let's just say I've been got sick and tired of uh, having fireballs and such blasts at her. But she's like, I'm, I'm just going to stay around. Was Ipen, the, was Ipen the witch or was the other one the witch? Uh, Ipen was the witch. In that case, she's washing her hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, Does Raggy have a perception? Or do we uh, need to get Raggy glasses? Do we need to get Raggy off drugs and into rehabilitation? Nah. No, no, no. Uh, it's that bad. How is... Someone got off the 80. That's fine. Raggy will roll if everyone else fails. <laughs> so, a quick interjection. Tell me this, if you will. I I'm 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 looking at the uh the cable that I need. I'm about to order it. Oh, okay. Tell me why a six foot cable is five ninety nine, but a ten foot cable is five seventy five. Discount per inch? Oh, but I'm ordering the ten foot. It'll give me wiggle room in case, because it's like my my desktop is on the other side of my desk from the okay. monitor. Alright. It's just kind of like, eh, I might not need it, but you know what? Don't take that chance. Exactly. Alright, I know. I kind of have like a 500 foot uh, Ethernet cable. That I'm currently only using about 100 feet of. So, 
about. Anyway, just a bit of mm. the Vadim persuasion. Yes. Your brilliant eyes show you that this field is filled with scarecrows. Oh, goody. That can only mean wonderful things in this fucking town. Well, you're currently outside town. You know, I don't care. You do notice that er every so often, a few of them twitch. I, you know, I figured. With your 30, and with uh, Ganon giving you a good 60, so basically a 32. You notice this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and give a nice close up of that one. That is a safe scarecrow. I've seen that one. <laughs> a safe scarecrow, you say? Indeed. Hmm. It just means it's an actual scarecrow. Right, so it's not twitching. It's not. You know, besides the crows on it, like, obviously not. Yeah. But, these two, on the other hand, are. The name looks at the others and says, don't worry about that one. There's something wrong with those two, though. Not entirely sure. Uh, you know what? For fun, let's r run a detect magic on him. That's your detect magic on the scare on those two scarecrows. Yes. Mm. That's here. Yes. And after a few rounds, you notice that it's sort of necromatic magic. Hmm. Uh, knowledge religion. Ah, sad face. Wow, the name's not really that knowledgeable of religion, is he? Ah, it's an inconsistent moment. He's he's still bitching about the fact that he's anywhere near Sandpoint. <laughs> So, pretty much by looking at these, you can, you're looking at them, they're kind of, they're dressed up as scarecrows, like you really can't tell too much about them, but looking at the necromantic magic, they give form to the full fact that they are. Uh, would Spellcraft tell me anything? Uh, they would tell you that it was necromantic magic. Okay, it couldn't help me identify it. All right. Also, I apologize if people couldn't hear me correctly. I didn't have my microphone properly extended. Well, what a dick. You can you could tell that they are probably maybe in the realm of ghouls. How surprising. I'm utterly shocked. I know, it's not like you've dealt with a gas recently. Hmm, what to do? You know what's funny? Hmm? They don't give me any stats on these uh, tools. Awesome. Oh, wait, no, here we go. Ghouls. Multiple. HP. 13. <laughs> Somebody go sneeze on these fucking things. Give me some pepper. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like... <laughs> I'm sure Raggy has something you can put in your nose. <laughs> I uh, thank you. 
<laughs> All right, let's look up Ghoul in the Pathfinder books because that states Monster Manual. Huh. Well, are these just regular ghouls? <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Lovely. <laughs> and Vadib just like... Uh, uh, Side step! <laughs> I, I'm just gonna move over here a little bit, okay? That shit on my cloak, you fucker. <laughs> no, no, these, these are just ghouls. There's no templates added to them. They're just regular ghouls. To which, yeah, if Ganon so so much as gave them a terrible look, they would die. No, if, if he like threateningly waves that that Tetsubo in their direction, they're dead. I could fart on them and destroy them. Well, tell him to run around and give him wedgies. <laughs> This book was not designed for us. No. I mean, you guys are like, what, level five? Level four? Yeah. I'm level five. Five, yeah. I'm assuming that whatever they are. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm not going to bother bringing up, uh, bringing up like a little, bringing up the, uh, initiative order thing because. No, we're pretty much going to walk over them. I think I do special abilities like paralyzation. Uh, none of you know. I mean, if Raggy wants to try giving us a knowledge religion check. No thanks. <laughs> Great. The priest knows nothing about religion. We're fucked, everybody. <laughs> you think he chose this life? Hey, you know what? It should. It chose him. Damn it. It should have bestowed something upon him. Uh, I might. I might not have knowledge religion of like six or something. Hang on. Uh... <clears throat> oh God. You want to deal with ghouls that could burrow? I, I could roll a six if you wanted me to. Alright, go ahead. Might as well. I think I've got knowledge of everything, but just not a very good knowledge. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. The priest actually knows a thing or two. What the fuck do you know? It's a Christmas miracle. Yes, most ghouls and ghasts of the same family are able to paralyze upon touch. Oh, there you go. So they'll fuck us by paralyzing us. Uh, they also have something called ghoul fever, yada yada, fortitude DCs. You guys know about all that stuff. Well, why would it let me continue? What? I'm trying to fill out this damn application to come to your country. <laughs> America is not prepared for the Douglas. It's not like I haven't been there before. <laughs> Last time was enough. <laughs> Last time, you poisoned the crops in the watering hole. But Yeah, I mean, if you guys want, you could, like, you could send, you could send your guys one at a time, see if they get a lucky shot and paralyze you. No, I think I'm cool. <laughs> oh, come on, Raggy. Just envision it. There's a wall right here. 
charge the wall, Raggy. Oh, I charge the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so you charge the wall. Uh, where, where am I? Uh, let me let me see you know, where we are. If, where's the wall? Right here. Sorry, I, I have to be one because I'm, this map is fucking huge. Where? Oh, there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I should have some wall. I'm, I'm all good with that. <laughs> do, do, do do the rest of us see the wall, or is this all in his head? Oh, this is all. This is all in his head. Yeah, I kind of figured. <clears throat> uh, this, reminds, this reminds me, wall's a wall. I mean, if it's imaginary, it could prove its existence as much as we can. Oh no, you! I'm, I'm, I was just asking. You have a good time. <laughs> right, now apparently I have to pay to get into a country. Uh, nah, Trump has completely decided that Douglas is not allowed because of his hatred of walls. <laughs> ha! I like it. It's canon now. <laughs> You've had none of your elves. Why is that too bad? That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, but elves are immune to their paralysis. I don't care. It's still a beautiful thing. <laughs> you racist bastard. Yeah, the thing is with elves, they're, they're too short to be useful and too tall to put a beer upon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so go ahead and roll your attack roll of charge. Oh, well, I gotta look at what the fuck that is now, don't I? Um, okay, so we're level five, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, five. Oh, no, we haven't got a magic weapon, have we? Or oh, they have, but I haven't. Is that right? No, you don't um, have a you don't have a magical lance yet. Oh, I got I got a plus. Oh yeah, I'm using the lance. Fuck like, yeah, fuck that. I'm using the lance. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna use a bastard sword in two hands. Uh... <laughs> oh god, where did Raggy go, Braveheart? <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, okay, uh, plus two on holy of speed. They're probably not very. I need to swap that out for something. Okay. Uh, I'm okay. Are they lawful? They're not gonna be lawful, are they? So, so that's five plus two is seven. Uh, plus a shitload of strength. What's my strength? 22 plus 4, 26. It could be more than that, hasn't it? A shit ton of strength. Uh, plus blah, 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 natural armor. Come on, I've got something for strength. I've found those things for strength. Uh, at least 26. So 26 is what, plus 8. So when I say 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 8 is uh, 15. 15. Okay. Is that, is that all I've got? You quite literally currently have a 5% chance to miss. Oh, cool. That'll do. I'll, I'll go with that for now. Uh, where's rule 20 gone? Their AC is 14. You quite literally only have a 5% chance to miss the wall. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you roll it. God damn it, Douglas. <laughs> I rolled a D10. You're all right. Ah, it was oh, a D10. Okay. Damn it. That, that would have been too hilarious. That would have been too fucking hilarious. Oh my god. I, I thought I was going to have to start slapping people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. Uh, which wall were you charging? Uh, the nearest wall. Okay. You charge the wall. Uh, actually, you kind of have to be more like this since you're using a bastard sword. Uh, Roll damage. Okay. Uh, so that's... Uh, what's a bastard sword? It's, it's 1d8 or something, isn't it? 
No, I think it's I think it's a bit more than that. I should use the lance. Oh fuck it. Yeah, I double damage on a charge. Uh sixteen. Twenty-eight plus two plus two. That'll do. Thank you. Twenty-five damage. Uh, they... Yeah, bastard swords a D ten. Uh, close enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, Vadim and Ganon. You notice Raggy kind of getting fidgety there in the saddle. Oh, God. Quote-unquote saddle, I think. I don't know. I, I don't think we've ever established whether or not he goes uh, he goes uh, bareback or not. But you see him getting kind of twitchy. You hear him whispering something about a wall. Oh Donald, God. Trump in, Donald Trump in the distance is going, no, 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 no. And then Raggy charges the wall. Oh, God damn it. And... Vadim yells after him, What fucking wall? You notice him cleave the head of that ghoul clean off. <sighs> and then... And... Oddly enough, you hear people go, For Scotland! I don't. I. Uh, hmm. Vadim's just like, well, what, whatever. That happened. Um, okay. And. Uh, does anyone here besides Raggy, who uh, had an impromptu uh, psychiatric uh, breakdown, anyone here have a initiative modifier higher than a plus two? Uh, yeah. Hey, Vadim, you want to take you want to take a pot shot at this uh, at this guy over here with your cards? Um. Uh, yeah. Why not? Let's see. I, uh, <laughs> Vadim's just like grumbling to himself as he opens up his card deck, shuffling it, going, God damn it, motherfucking raggy son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and put. Hold on, I got to check. I got to pull up spell levels in that. Mm -hmm. uh, you good? You good to throw 60 feet? I, I think so, yeah. Okay. Alright, so if I put where the hell God damn it, give me the spell list, you fuck. <laughs> it's been so long since I've had to actually look up stuff for a magus. Oh, right, I have that, but that's not going to come into effect here. Um, God damn it, give me my spell list. There we go. Mm. You know what? Let's go ahead and throw a cantrip on there of uh, Disrupt Undead. <laughs> well, that's always fun. <laughs> so that'll be... Actually, I'll go ahead and move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll move to here. All right, you go. I'm, I'm assuming it's sunny out. Yes. And that will be a D20 plus 8. Uh, 
Actually, I'm going to go drop to plus six because I'm casting a spell on it, but back up to a plus seven because I'm going to infuse a point into it. And then uh, I have to check if this one's a touch or... Oh, no, that's that's instantaneous. How do you... Oh, no, it's, it is a ranged touch attack. Never mind. So, 20 plus 7 for the throw. Nope. You miss the throw. <sighs> Who and... bent my cards? <laughs> uh, is Ganon giggling at that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. I should stab you. <laughs> now, you notice, you, you notice something. You throw the card over here, it kind of flips to go over this way. And then a little dragon appears on it going, You missed! How could you miss? He was three feet in front of you! The dame looks at the fucking dragon and says, Where did you learn to tell distances, you fucking cunt? <laughs> it was 45 feet away. You throw a card 45 feet and see if it flies in a straight line. Fuck you! <laughs> Uh, Ganon? Yeah. Uh, do you want to you want to take care of the booby prize here? <laughs> uh, one question. What? Is this guy in touch with the ground at all? Nope. Well, yeah. There's a big giant stick up his ass. <laughs> I don't think that's part of him. No. They quite they quite literally got hoisted up onto onto staves. Because what I wanted to do was use uh, um, thunder stomp, because I've not used it yet. Uh, all right. You kind of hear him growl at you. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? How's your mom? Better than you. Speaking of pizza, I just ordered some. Like just now? Or just yes, now? Just, just now. Okay. You miss! How could you miss? He was five feet right in front of you. This time you got the distance right. I mean, technically, you know. You know what? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the ghoul a chance. I'm going to give the ghoul a chance to hit you, crap. Okay. Uh, just give me a second in order to get its uh, to hit number. You guys are swinging at plus 15s, plus 7s, plus 8s. Might as well give it a plus 6. Nope. Nope. He claws at you, and it just... It, it gives you kind of a gentle breeze with a hint of rotting corpse. Blech. Fucking delicious. I'm not buying that perfume. <clears throat> hey, Raggy. Uh, yeah, I charge the dogs. Well... You technically can't charge. No. I like, I like in combat. Yeah. You charge. Also in melee. You charge this guy, but the way that you were you like because you had a bastard sword, which requires you to be within five feet of the bastard. Oh, you will be next to someone. All right, fine. I chop his head off. <laughs> I, I scream. You may take my death muffins, but we will never take my ingredients. What? <laughs> that was an in character what? That was just the dean muttering to himself. What the fuck is he talking about? Or pony? No, I swallow 20 feet. Is that That's it? more like it. <laughs> That's a battle cry I can get behind. <laughs> like, Douglas, even though you're like an automatic hit, I still require you to roll. If you're all one, I'm a laugh. 
I promise. Oh, hang on, I can do lots more damage if I'm in combat. Oh, uh, that'll probably do the first it'll do, won't it? Uh, hello? Can you hear hello? me? Yes. Yes. I said I went offline for a moment there. So the first hit does 22 damage. Do you want me to do more hits? Ah, there we go. Nah, it, like, it didn't show up for me for a second there. Sorry. It has slightly exploded. Yeah, you, you cleave this thing in two. Down the middle. A cleave Robin's arrow in twain! <laughs> you're just, you're quite literally going you might take my muffins but you can never take my ingredients slice yeah a lot of them muffins are important and i mean you have you have this guy left but i i don't really think he's bothering you guys much you know, no, besides... I said that one's not moving, so... Yeah, besides the off-comment about your mom every now and then, but... Well, yeah. does somebody it's... else want to hit him, or am I going to hit him? I think that's just in Raggy's mind. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, but he's breathing my air, and I don't care if he's not breathing. <laughs> 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 You know, at first, like, I blinked, and then Ganon was gone from beside Raggy. I'm like, Ganon, where'd you go? And then I noticed you over there, and I'm like, ooh, goody. Oh, look, that one's twitching, too. Hmm. And it notices you, looks over at its two fellows, and it looks like it's about ready to scream. I mean, considering the fact that you have, like, an undead Bane uh, Tetsubo. Yep. I'm just going to state this motherfucker's dead. He is squashed. So Vadim's just gonna stay at the at the beginning of the maze. No, he's gonna uh, come up here and let's see how far away. Uh, can I roll a perception check to see if I can see anything about these next three? Uh, sure. I can. Okay. You notice all of them? Well, you notice that that one has a fine ass. Yeah, good for him. Same for that one. And if I'm recalling correctly, yeah. This one's twitching, but not in the exact way this one was. Unsynchronized twitching. The bastards. You know, I, I don't know. It, it, it's twitching. That's all I give a fuck about. Magic missile. Hmm. Oh, D4 plus D4 plus 2. Yeah, 7 damage. Yawn. You hear... You hear the really girly shriek of a man. Duff. Huh. Not a ghoul, a man. Uh, huh. Are we expecting somebody here? Nah, I wasn't. Also, one other thing. Ganon mm -hmm. and Vadim, you notice Ganon's about ready to, to step on a tripwire. 
Watch your step. Unfortunately, I kind of can't do anything else, so I can't try to disarm device from here. No, no, we're not going in turn order. Oh, well, all right then. Well, that's measurement. <laughs> one more over one more over oh whatever just put me where i need to be that's a 20 plus 12 plus d6 uh and as a reminder disabled device does not take inspiration because i have underworld inspiration oh no no i understand completely well, I'm just making sure we, we remember, because it's been so long since I've used any of this shit. <laughs> oh, no, I remember your characters as if it was yesterday. 33. Oh, yeah, no, you snipped the wire. Like, you just it's looked shit. at it, you looked at it, pulled out a pair of uh, pair of clippers, and you just clipped the wire in two places, and you're like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. Now, and he kind of looks at the, the, the shrieking scarecrow. He's like, who, 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 who's in there? Uh, one second, please. As I... are, are, you, are, you, are you real or is Raggy's, uh, are Raggy's hallucinations starting to infect our minds as well? Knowing this town, I wouldn't be surprised. That's why I asked. <laughs> of course, if it answers, that doesn't really clarify anything. The name's Horan McGuffin. McGuffman. Oh, okay. I was going to say his name's McGuffin. I thought I was going to head desk because I thought you really said his name was McGuffin. <laughs> no, no, his real name is Horan McGuffman. Well, that makes a big difference. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's great, because uh, I happen to have a blood food with the McGuffin clan. Oh, God damn it! Well, you don't. Sit <laughs> down. <laughs> sit, Ubu, sit. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Good boy. <laughs> Stop. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes, he did. He looks very concerned for your well-being at this moment. 